Hello everybody, this is Lollipop Oit one MLE here today and welcome to another episode of Lollipop Speed Art. Now, I have a confession to make. Yes, I've been lazy with doing the art and all that stuff. Come on, I need a break sometimes. All artists need a break and whatnot. It's not a freaking problem here and whatnot. We all need a break for whatnot. So it's Edwardian week and we are continuing on with um, the royal ladies of the Edwardian era and we're doing another Romanov in the Romanov family the Russian royal family and her name is Grand Duchess Maria Pavlovna Romanova born on April 18th 1890 she was the granddaughter of Tsar Alexander II and was the only daughter of Grand Duke her father was Grand Duke Paul Alexandrovich and his first wife, uh, Grand Duchess Alexandra uh, Georgievna of Russia. Or her maiden name, maiden titles were Princess Alexandra of Greece and Denmark. And she was named after her paternal grandmother, Empress uh, Maria Alexandrovna, uh, Tsar Alexander II's first wife. And she and her, after her mother passed away and her father was banished because he married a commoner in 1902 Maria and her younger brother Dimitri who they were cl very close were raised by their paternal uncle Grand Duke Sergei Alexandrovich and his wife Grand Duchess Elizabeth Fyodorovna and you know Elizabeth Fyodorovna she is Queen Victoria's granddaughter and very pious woman if you have not seen the episode where i did the sisters of hess i recommend you check this out before watching this so anyways when she was 18 she married prince wilhelm duke of undermanland uh, sorry i'm not a swedish um I, so basically she, uh, Elizabeth, her foster mother and aunt, decided to find a husband, found this husband for uh, Maria, and she, again, Wilhelm was the son, the second son of Gustav the, the fifth of Sweden, and thus that made her the sister-in-law of Crown Princess Margaret and if you have not seen the episode on Princess Margaret of the UK I recommend you watch that too because Maria Pavlovna was her sister-in-law and they had one son but unfortunately their marriage was not a good one it was not happy mainly due to the fact that Elizabeth uh, arranged this marriage and the couple were divorced in 1914 at the start of World War One and speaking of war and revolution maria pavlovna was one of the only romanovs romanovs to have survived world war one and um and the russian revolution escaping to the ukraine to ukraine in 1918 and after remarrying and ex Escaping into exile, she would live in Bucharest, then to London, then Paris in 1920, where she opened up an, um, a fashion workshop of embroidery fashion workshop atelier called Kitmere in 1923. After divorcing her second husband and selling her shop in 1928, she emigrated to the U.S. and lived in New York City, where she published two memoirs known as The Education of a Princess in 1930 and A Princess in Exile in 1932. Then, ten years later, she would move to Buenos Aires. Yes, yeah, she moved to South, A South America, Argentina, where she would remain throughout the World War II years. And one of the things I learned was that she was repulsed when the U.S. allied itself with the Soviet Union. You know, the Bolsheviks that killed um, her first cousin and his family. Yeah, after spending 12 years in the U.S. After the war, she returned to Europe permanently in 1949 
and actually re-encountered her first husband, and they departed on good terms and whatnot. And after that, so she spent most of her time in Germany and where she would die, well, pass away from pneumonia at, on December 13th of 1958 at the age of 68 in Konstanz, Germany, or West Germany as it was known during the Cold War. And she was laid to rest next to her brother Dimitri in the, the chapel in um, Manoa. Manu or I, 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 any of my German viewers probably could pronounce that correctly. Oh boy. So, yeah, so, um, like, um, Maria Fyodorovna and her daughters, um, Zania and Olga, uh, Maria Pavlovna was one of the other survivors of the Russian Revolution and of World War One, obviously. And as you can see, I made several corrections, and I tried basing this off of the photograph as best as I could. In my own style, obviously, sometimes you gotta simplify. Again, it is up on my DeviantArt, by the way, at lollipop081mle, and I hope you enjoyed this. And please subscribe to my channel and ring the bell for notifications. Comment who you like to see next. I post videos like this usually every Fridays and Saturdays, but we're doing this every day because it's um, Edwardian week. And also follow me on my social media links, Twitter, Instagram, Reddit, and Art. And I will see you next time. Peace.